everybody, we were just watching Wendy live. Hi, Wendy. First of all, thank you for calling us a cute show. We're also an Emmy-winning show, so don't forget that, sis. Um, Tamar Braxton was your guest, and we appreciate the fact that you brought us up. Um, I just want to be full disclosure. It's been three years. I don't know why you guys keep talking about this whole situation. Um, We've actually never spoken about it here. Never. No, we never spoke Not about here. it. But what here. happened, what, what had happened this summer, okay, <laughs> was that Tamar Braxton gave us an apology for everything that happened that these girls on this table had no, no issue with doing. Um, since then, that apology has been taken down. Oh. And so it was I, I, in my humble opinion of trying to be this strong black woman, invited her to come on the show for season six. It was a simple public ask. I did try to call her um, privately. I've been texting her. I get no response. So I just put it out there. The show has reached out to her. Tamar, nobody is trying to use you as a marketing tool, sweetie. We, uh, you apologized to us over the summer, and we just thought to close this loop. That's just what we like, never asked for. Just like what Wendy did yesterday with Nene, you know, to men fists, that's all. That was the intention, and that is it, okay? That's it. So, you are still welcome, my dear, yeah. to come on any time. It's not a big deal. Seriously, we as black women have to stick together. Yes. We as women have to stick together, okay? It's no cattiness, it's, it's just, we need to have you come here so we can close the circle. You apologize, we opened it up to you, and it's still there and it will always be there. We love you, Tamar. You are a powerhouse and we know, you know us. So, yeah. that's it, I that's all I have to say. Ultimately, that's really what it comes down to. I think yeah. that you, you know us and you know who we are, you know our hearts, and I think um, when you apologized, obviously I didn't know that it was taken down, you just brought that up, I didn't yeah. know that. Um, we, we were like, man, that's really all, that's all I've ever wanted was an apology. So I think that made us think, well, you extended an olive branch, then now is the time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But and that's I why, that's well, I guess not. You saw the apology as an olive, you know, branch. And yes. I can speak for all of us here and especially for myself. I've been in the business for over 20 years and my reputation is not one of cattiness. Mm -mm. And I agree with you, Lonnie, it's time. It's time for me to say this. It's time for women of color to stop putting each other down. We already have other people doing that. And more importantly, start up lifting each other, loving each other and stop creating false narratives. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. It's, it's, it's unfair. Mm -hmm. It's unfair to, I work hard on my character yes. each and every freaking day. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody who's close to me knows that truth. And what I don't like is that out there. Yeah. You know, that, that, that false, falseness, the lies and, and, and all of that. And that's all I have to say. You are absolutely right.